Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to Open That Book Rich. This is the final installment of the Bernie Wrightson Artifact Edition by IDW. All right, this thing starts off, we're starting off with the gigantic gatefold piece. This thing is hard to shoot. It's huge. Again, all these are shot off the original art and uh, are full size. Um, I'm like three feet away from the book. It's, this thing is so gigantic. <laughs> All right. So, I wanna, look at that. Oh, wow. Holy cow. I had no idea there was something else on the back of this. This thing is huge. Wow. That's really cool. You're so good with anatomy and just drawing like crazy creatures. Man, that is great. So it says the original dimensions of this are 15 by 20. I'm, that would be probably the active art. Um, let me see if that makes sense. 11 by 17. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. And then there's another one right here. Maybe there's two. Hold on, let me see this. Oh, there is. Wow, God, this is in here? I had no idea. I'd seen this online. It was really cool, super crazy. And, um, you know, I'm doing a series called Render Like Wrightson where I actually go in to a lot of different hatching techniques. So look down in the description below and um, you can find um, the first uh, two installments of that and then some introductions into just the techniques that you're going to kind of need to be aware of to even sort of get going on this trajectory of um, work. Put my camera's at the right angle. Sorry, if, if anything rotated out of frame, I apologize. Um, Yeah, this piece is really, really cool. I had seen it online, um, looking for some um, rights and to share as like the thumbnails. And uh, man, I had no idea that this was in the book. And this is really cool too. <laughs> 1973, so long ago. Okay, so let's shut this. Sorry, I got tons of like, been working. So I've got ink everywhere. Okay, so we've gone through the cover gallery quite a bit. We ended up, if you haven't seen part four, by all means, go back to it. And again, we've looked at all these. We got to here. We got to this. Very, very cool piece. This is where we ended. All right, so we're going to hustle a little bit just because, again, got to get to the end of the book. Can't show everything. You know, I've got links to IDW, IDW Artist Edition. Obviously, um, I tip my hat to Scott Doombeer for curating these incredible books, Bernie Wrights and the whole nine yards. But yeah, I mean, I would highly recommend, um, if you enjoy this video, just pick up the book. You're really not going to regret it. These are such great study tools. I always look at it like this. Okay. It may be a hundred dollar book, but all I need to do is just get something out of it and apply it to just one thing that I do. And I'll be able to make my money back on it, you know, on some future piece of art that I draw. I just look at these as investments in myself. Sorry, the camera's gonna cut off for one split second. My phone tried to update. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, I mean, these are like vitamins for your, your imagination. You're planting seeds that are gonna grow amazing, um, you know, the fruits, the fruits of your labor and, and how how committed you are to educating yourself along the way. I mean, art should always be a lot of hard work and then entertainment, you know. That's oh, so cool. But yeah, always take time to study and enjoy. So these are stories and pages and things that go bump in the night. Very cool. Again, back to the brushy, the brushy look. So this looks like it's from a House of Mystery story. Wow, that's really cool. Move the lamp a little bit. Some really, really cool like line work up there. I can show you how to do that. It's simple technique that just sort of expands on the curved lines that I've been showing you already. Um, I use that technique a lot. Um, I got it, I think, from Franklin Booth, who I know was also an influence on Wrightson. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, this... There's like circles and cycles of, of just, you know, um, 
how how this stuff carries over. Joseph Clement Cole. Um, I guess even Gustav Dorr. Virgil Finlay was another pretty crazy um, pen and ink artist. Or uh, he, he did, I think, etchings. Um, okay, so I'll hustle through these. Okay, he's just sequential. I like that. That's nice. Nice panel. Yeah, we've got to kind of move. Like I said, the sequential sometimes, um, you know, we've we've seen a few, so let's just move through and find sort of the money shots. This is a nice panel. Very, very big book. Very big. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's see what's going it's coming. That's cool. Okay. Pause this for one sec. Okay. So I skipped ahead about 20 pages. There was a, quite a bit of sequential work. And um, again, as appealing as it is, that's something that you can kind of pour through when you grab the book yourself. This is a, looks like a hand-colored um, interior. I don't know if it's marker or watercolor. Could even be, I guess, watered down acrylic ink. Okay, so okay, there's some pretty interesting stuff here at the end. Let me uh, flip the page here real quick. So you got some really nice color swamp things. Things that's a really great pose. Really, really nice. This is very, very cool. This is nice. Nice big figure. This, I'd seen this online, man. This is such a great piece. I love just the strokes that he flings off of it, like these kind of dry brush things, like over here where the, the ink sort of disintegrates. And, and man, just the drawings themselves are great. The, the way he does the facial hair and the beard and stuff like that is really, really awesome. And this face is just awesome, too. And again, just very like suggestive strokes at the bottom, very painterly. This is a 72 piece. I'm, like I said, I'm guessing that this is watercolor. I don't know for sure. Um, but I'm pretty sure that he did watercolor. Man, the color on that is really cool, too. Yeah, this is nice. Again, very brave. You know, to go to go over a, a very nice pen and ink drawing like this with, with watercolor is quite uh, quite daring because you never know what's going to happen. So here's a really cool Batman piece one. Open this up. Oh man, look at the bottom of it is really great. All right, let's see how I can do this. <laughs> like standing way back. All right, let's do this. All right, man, what a great texture for all those rocks. Dang, Batman's like in a volcanic like landscape. Where is he? Mama mia, this thing is gigantic. So I apologize that I'm not shooting this probably as professionally as can be, but I'm. I mean, the whole book is spread out now, probably like three and a half feet. Man, that is nice. And again, all that color work over such a, an elaborate drawing. One false step, and you're like Batman. You're going to be falling off the cliff into volcanic lava of, oh no, what did I do? That's why he writes his man, look at that cape. You can see Kelly Jones, he loved that. Stalactites and stalagmites, man, that's great. So I'm guessing he's inside of a cave, but I don't know. It looks like he's outside too. It's fantasy, and here's another nice Batman piece. This kind of has a McFarlane feel to it. A little bit, a little bit. And again, I mentioned I think earlier in the video, but I, I am doing a series of videos called like Render Like Writes, and where I actually I'm going to dissect. Um, some of the techniques that Bernie uses throughout this book, and and. Man, that is really, really nice. Um, and also in his uh, Frankenstein stuff, and you know, I'll show you, you know, kind of the fundamentals of like how to approach that stuff, and and then you can kind of take it any direction you want. You know, the the great thing about art is there are kind of rules, but then there's there's not. You know, once you get a hang of it, you can really kind of do what you want. So I'm trying to get a hold of this page so I can flip it. One sec here. I apologize for the stumbling. This is cool. Kind of an unfinished page. Again, it's amazing to see his pencils and then to know what he does with it. It's very, very incredible. It, it's a, a level of skill and confidence. Man, that's wild too. Holy cow. You know, can you imagine going in and then like shading this and then going in with 
brushes and then rendering it to the level that Bernie does. It's very, very amazing. You know, all the right decisions add up to a great piece. All the missteps will make it fall like a house of cards. Very cool. Okay, I want to say thank you so much for hanging in there. This was a very, very long series of videos, but it's such a fantastic book. You know, it deserved the time. So, again, look in the links below. I'll have links to IDW site and check it out. Thank you to DC Comics, IDW, Scott Doombeer, and Bernie Wrights, and most importantly, thank you for checking this out. All right, I will talk to you all later. Hope you enjoyed this, and uh, I created a playlist so you can go in and watch the whole series kind of like in one chunk, um, and then uh, there's other open app books that I've done in the past. I, I don't do them too often, but every three or four months I like to throw one up. Okay? Thank you. Bye.